everybody, what's going on? I am Gamerchick, and I would like to welcome you guys back to more of Story of Seasons. In the previous episode, we made a trip to town, and I tried to get our house renovated, but the carpentry guy said, he said that he would not work on rainy days, and I cried on the inside because I really, really, really wanted my stuff upgraded and whatnot. So we have to wait until tomorrow, possibly even longer, depending on how long it's going to rain. I mean, it could be raining in the next day. I have no clue. So we're just going to go ahead and, I guess, see if we can break this boulder. Because we've been trying to break this boulder for a while and it's just not working because it's just so big. And this hammer is really crappy and I don't really want to... I don't really want to waste all of my stamina. Um, yeah, okay, if we're done with that, put 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 the hammer away. Put the hammer away. I'll go ahead and pick up this stuff, though. Um, at some point in time, we are going to have to clear out this entire field, because I believe um, the barn will be going down here, but I don't know that for a fact. Um, so I just started planting crops in there, so I hope that was okay. Then again, the barn could go over here. Again, I really don't know. I have absolutely no freaking clue whatsoever. I just, I don't know. No idea. Balances, ooh. That's pretty cool, we have a balance sheet. And we also have a ship logging um, sheet as well. I don't think that was the right one. I don't think that was the right one. What was I clicking on that said ship log? Oh, there we go, ship logging. Items, what have I shipped? Um, I have shipped, I have shipped I don't know. I don't think I've shipped anything. No, that's not true because I shipped a couple I shipped a couple flowers, so maybe it just hasn't processed. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and turn in for the day. I really really don't care right now. We're just going to go to sleep. I've wasted all my stamina. I can't do anything further. Yes, it is sunny. I really hope that the carpenter is open today and Silk Country is there today as well. So, First things first, we will be visiting the carpenter as soon as I finish watering my plants. I'm going to go ahead and water them. Let's get some more water in our watering can. Got to water the plants. Water, water, water. Water, water, water. I love the watering in this game. I don't have to spend years watering my crops, which is wonderful. I mean, it takes just a couple seconds. It's not so bad. It's really not. It's pretty, pretty good. I would like to upgrade my tools though, so we're gonna have to figure out how to do that. I don't know who is eligible to upgrade our tools at all. I have absolutely no clue, but we're gonna go ahead and head into town and see if the carpenter is open today. If he's not open today, I will cry. I will, I will flat out cry. Tears will be shed, I promise you. I'm not even kidding, tears will be shed. There will be tears, I will cry. <laughs> I really want my house renovated. Like, come on now. Ooh, come here. Yeah, locust. Oh, I want that bee. Catch the bee. Yay, I caught a honey bee. This is the second honey bee I've caught, and I'm pretty sure we can ship those. Um, but I'm just I've been hanging on to them for now. Cause that's what I do. I hang on to stuff. I'm a hoarder, okay? Not really, but metaphorically in the game, I am a hoarder. So go ahead and run past these fields. Past the fields we go. Past the fields we go. Ooh, flowers and weeds and logs. I will take all of this stuff. This is very good for me. Hey, locust, come here. Oh, not you. I wanted the grasshopper. Ugh, ugh, I want the grasshopper. I caught it. Long-headed locust. Yay. Is there anything over here? No, it looks like there's nothing over here. Okay, let's go down to Oak Tree Town and let's see if the carpenter will bless me with his presence. Please, please bless me with your presence. Pretty please, with sugar on top. I have my stuff. Home improvement, yes. Oh, hello, Lori. Are you ready for an extreme home makeover? Yes, yes I am. I have my materials, please. Yo, Lori, did you bring all the materials for the renovation? Yes. You did? Perfect. Let's head up on to your place then. I'll teach you how to renovate it. Yay! 
Okay, let's get to work. Oh, but first you're gonna need a craft table. Hang on a sec. I'll build you one on the house. Well, thank you for building me a crafting table. That's pretty cool. Done. This here's a craft table. With this, some blueprints and the right materials, you can start building things yourself. Before we get started, let me give you some blueprints. There, those are for a house and a craft table. It's a book! I got a craft table blueprint and a decent house blueprint. Use the blueprints I just gave you and the materials here to renovate your house. Here, let me tell you how to do it. I put the blueprints at the right end of your craft table. When you want to make something, search that stack of blueprints and select build. That'll open up the build screen. This is the build screen. This is where you will pick what you want to make. When you get a new blueprint, it'll automatically be added to this list. Okay. Look up on the right hand side of the screen to see what materials you'll need. If you have what you need, you can select it. I'll come help you with big stuff like home renovations, but you can handle most everything else yourself. Alright, let's get this renovation underway. I'll be right here helping you, so give it your best shot. Okay, I'll try! Okay, oh, look at the roof, it's like falling down. You just threw a rock at it? Oh, that's not how you renovate! Oh, the tears are so real. That's not how you renovate a house, that's how you destroy a house. She's destroying it, and he's happy. Oh, the roof. The roof is so bad. It has holes in it. Okay. Alright. Is the renovation done? Oh, it's pretty. Not bad. Not bad at all. It looks decent! That's wonderful. Ah, with the right blueprints and materials, you can renovate your house or make all kinds of things from scratch. I sell some blueprints at my shop, and I know there are some you can get through the trade depot. Keep your eyes open for them. Ooh, okay. Here, let me give you a book on how to read blueprints. If you ever need a refresher, give it a read. Thank you! I have a pretty house, and I see the barn over there. You've got a bigger house now, so there's more space to store things. Try making some of the things you find for blueprints, or you find blueprints for. And since you've got a closet now, you've got a place to hang any clothes you might make. I can make clothes? Oh, oh. I can give you a book on how that works too. That's pretty cool. Using the closet. Right then, that's about all there is to know about blueprints. Now let me say a few words about editing. Editing refers to taking the stuff you build from a blueprint and placing it somewhere. After all, no point in making something if you ain't gonna put it to use. Anyways, it goes like so. See the model at the left end of the craft table? When you want to edit something, go over to the model and view it with the A button. Now, you've got two different kinds of editing. Farm editing and home editing. You use farm edit to move things around out on your farm and home edit to move things around inside your house. This time, let's do a farm edit. When you pick Farm Edit, the top screen displays the farm. Go stand in front of the object you want to move and press A to pick it up. The blue box in front of you will show you where the object will go when you set it down. The size of the box also shows how much space that object is going to take up. On the other hand, if the object won't fit where you're trying to put it, the box turns red. Sometimes there'll be other stuff in the way, and you can't put anything in that spot. When you want to put an object away, just pick it up and press the Y button. Oop! Ooh, all the decorative stuff! If there's something new you want to place, press the X button while you aren't holding anything. That'll bring up the stock screen. Just select the object you want and pull it out and pick it up. You can turn the object you're holding 90 degrees by pressing the L or R button, so spin it to place it in the direction you want. To finish editing, press the Y button. When you're not holding anything, you can stop anytime you'd like. And that's about all I've got to say about editing. I'll give you a book on it, so give it a read if you've got any more questions. Still, you'll learn more of my doing than you will just by reading, so go ahead and try it for yourself. Ooh, this is so exciting, I get to customize my farm. Okay, I'm a man of my word. I built you a barn as a housewarming gift. Come on over this way. I see it, it's so cute. I'm excited. Well, she's a real beaut, ain't she? 
Now you can start keeping animals. A farm without any animals is kind of sad. Like having only half a farm. This here is a book on your barn. Give it a read if you're curious. <laughs> Yay! Oh, about your craft table. I put a mini craft table by your bed. It can only do home editing, but give it a try sometime. Seems like we've covered just about everything now, so I'm heading home. Good luck with your farm. Yay! Lori, dearie, are you here? It's Ida! Oh, you're giving me a cow? I just met with Gunther, and he was telling me he'd built you a barn. Now, do you remember this cow? Isn't it Berta? Han Hanako, not Berta. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Hanako! You took care of her for a little while when I was teaching you how to farm. Yes, I remember the cow. It looks like she really took a liking to you. She's looked kind of lovely, or lonely, ever since you left, so if you wouldn't mind, would you take her as a present for me? Sure! Don't worry about me now. I'm sure Hanako will be happy living with you. Ah, that's wonderful to hear. Mr. Otmar sells fodder at his shop, so be sure to get some for her to eat. If you want to let your cows out, just stand behind them and give them a firm push out the door. I've put a book on your bookshelves about raising cows. Be sure to read it if you need to brush up on cow care. I'll take Hanako out to your barn now. Thank you, Granny. She gave me a cow. I got Hanako the cow from Ida. I should take very good care of her. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that a door? This is my closet. I can store clothes and accessories here. When I make new clothes and accessories, I can also come here to change. Ooh, is there anything in there? Um, casual clothing? That's cute. Can I... Can I... Is that what I'm wearing now? I think that's what I'm wearing now. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing now. Makes sense. And there's a crafting table. This is pretty cool. Storage box. A mini crafting table. Okay. That is pretty awesome. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I am pretty excited. Can I jump over the fence? I sure can. That's pretty convenient. Okay. We have to go get some uh, cow food from the general store, so let's go do that real quick before I forget. Because I will forget. That's how that works. I will forget it. I don't have much money, but I'm pretty sure the stuff isn't too expensive, so it should be okay. And uh, we'll go visit the trade depot as well and see what can be traded for what price and all that good stuff. I'm so excited. I got a cow. I got a bard. <sighs> My house is pretty now. It doesn't look like it's falling to crap, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and go in the general store and buy some cow food. Ah, uh, it's outside of business hours. Oh, darn it. When's business open? Probably nine. Is that right? Let me check. Monday through Saturday, 9 to 1800. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, by the time I get down here to the trade depot, it'll be open and it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and go to the trade depot. And it's gonna be like, dun 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 the cows. I mean, the, the cows. The elephant has arrived. I love that elephant. I want to adopt that elephant. If I could just adopt the elephant, all my problems would be solved. <laughs> Literally, all my problems would be solved. Okay, where is the information desk? Here we go. All right, hello. I need the recommended shipping. Wine and eggs and dairy. Okay, so it did not change. It didn't change, what a joke. All right, hello. Welcome to the Silk Country booth. I wanna ship some stuff to you. Can I ship like random stuff to you? Those are tools, seeds, I want to keep my seeds, vesture, cooking, wardrobe, products, fish, how much will you give me, 20, 80, 210, 80, 30, my insects, I don't know if I should keep all this stuff or, I mean, I, I think I could keep this stuff, honeycomb, uh, weeds, I'll keep the weeds. Uh, you know what? I will go compare... I'm gonna go compare stuff to the general store prices. Because I'm pretty sure you can sell stuff to the general store, too. 
So I'm gonna go do that and see if we can get a better price for this stuff at the general store, or if I should just sell it to her. Then again, ah, it's such a tough decision. Either way, money's money's, right? Money is money. That's how that works. Okay, you. Hello. Welcome. What brings you here? Okay, so I can't sell him anything. Okay, that makes sense, I suppose. I need fodder, and it's a hundred each. Jesus. Okay, well, give me. I guess give me five. Thank you. I'm broke. All right, I'm just gonna go away from you. I'm gonna go sell my bugs to that chick. And, um, I guess get what I can out of them. Since I'm poor. I'm very poor. Very, very poor. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's bad. I only have 69 gold. It's really bad. Oh, wow. Okay, well. I'm gonna go ahead and sell to her anyways. Hello, Silk Country. I want to ship some stuff to you. I want to ship some items. Um, not my seeds. Not my, not that. Not that. Um, I could ship my fish, but I kind of want to keep it, so I'm going to ship that. Yep, and I'll ship these three. Thank you for the money. And you can have those, and you can have the honeybees. Okay, and I want to keep all of that. Um, I'll keep the flower. Or you can have the honeycombs. It's 300 gold for me. Thank you. Okay, I think, I think we're good now. I think we're good. Ask about animals buy animals. I don't think I have money to buy animals. She's only selling a cow and chicken. Are those the only two kind of animals she'll sell throughout the entire game I wonder? Or... Hmm. Surely eventually she'll sell different types of things. Good morning to you. Isn't it a little early to be so jubilant? I'm a bit of an night now, a night owl myself, so I rather envy you for that. Whatever you say. Can I give you stuff? Is that is that an option? Can I give you like... I want to give you my orange juice. I'm going to hold it. You want my orange juice? I made it just for you. Let's not give any presents right now. Why? Is this for me? Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I gave someone a present. I feel... I feel important. I feel like a good person. That doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and return to our farm, and I suppose I'll need to take care of the cow. So one thing I was wondering, the bachelors on this game, um, older Harvest Moon games, the characters, the like the bachelors that you could, you know, um, give gifts to and whatnot to get them to marry you, they used to have these colored hearts over their image, but I noticed that the bachelors on this game do not have that, so how are you supposed to determine where their level of affection is for you? I know I just started the game, so like, I know it's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice to know. I guess I'm gonna have to go look it up, maybe? I'm not sure. But it's just something I have to be thinking about, because I remember, even in some of the Harvest Moon games I bought for my 3DS, I mean my DS, I don't think there's any other Harvest Moon games for the 3DS. For the DS, like, um, oh, The Tale of Two Towns had the hearts, the colored hearts over the characters. And then there was another one that I bought that I played. I don't remember what it was called. Um, it wasn't my favorite. Tale of Two Towns is kind of cool, though. All right, let's go ahead and feed my cow. Where are you, cow? Hello, cow. Ah, oh, I gotta put the fodder in the storage box. I forgot about that. I'm actually just gonna pull it out of my inventory right now, though. Hold. Yes, I'm just gonna toss it into the... Yeah, there we go. Look, I got you, I got you some... I got you some food! Alright, I can get milk and I can brush you. I'm just gonna brush you. Apparently I can follow you around, from what I've been told. Okay, you're all clean and I can milk you, too. It's so funny, you can follow the cow around. What a joke. Alright, give me that milk, I will take that. And uh, you are all good, okay Hanako? You be a good little cow. And I am gonna go put the fodder into the storage box for later use. It's for later use. This is the storage box, right? No, this is the tool box. 
No, 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 no. I will keep all my tools. Here we go. Uh, let's put away... Let's see. Let's go ahead and put away the fodder. And then let's put away... Let's see. The moon drop flower. I guess I could store my weeds in here. I guess I can put my iron. No, I can't put the iron. I can't put any of this in here? What a joke. It would have to go in the materials box, it said. Can't store milk. And I can't store, like, fish and whatnot. Okay, that's fine. Toolbox. Okay, let's look at the mini craft table. Let's edit our home. Decor. Sure. Sounds like fun. Do I have any decor? Or can I, like... I could move this, can't I? A, remodel. Can I... Can I... How do I pick it up? Uh, I don't think I can. Can I lift it? It says I can lift something here. A... Ugh, oh, maybe not. Oh, the material bin! I can move the material bin! <laughs> Alright. Can I move the bookshelf too? I wonder? I can move the bookshelf. Okay, let's put the bookshelf here. I can't move this table though. What a joke. I want to move the table. Can I move the nightstand or the crafting table? Can I move the bed? Oh, I can't move the bed. I can move that, too. Alright, well. Ugh. I gotta put it back down. Ugh. Oh, no. I messed it all up. I don't want to put it there. I want to put it back where it was. Can I? Ugh. Ugh. Man, now I have to put it somewhere else. What a joke. What a joke. What a joke, what a joke, what a joke. It's fine. I'm just gonna pick up the bookshelf, and the bookshelf is gonna go down here. I wanna pick up this table. Like, I really wanna move the table. Why can't we lift the table and move it? Like, it sounds like a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna put you there for a second, and then I'm gonna come over here and pick you up. And we're gonna put you here. Ah, oh, it's a terrible idea. Man. Hang on, let me get you from the other side. Here we go. And then we're gonna put you... I'm gonna put you here. Ugh. There we go, that's better. Alright, and then I'll put this over here. Aha! That's pretty cool. Okay, we remodeled. Yes, end editing. Cool. Alright, and let me go ahead and put mass amounts of materials in this box. Let's go ahead and put away some materials that I have. It would be here. I can store all of this. I guess I'll go ahead and store it all. Might as well. Store it all, dang it. Store it all! Put it all in there. I gotta keep my inventory nice and clean. Alrighty, guys. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. If you guys would like to support me, and if you guys would like to see more of Harvest Moon Story of Seasons, be sure to show your support by leaving a like and a comment in the section below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. In the next episode, I'm not exactly what we're going to do. I'm probably going to go ahead and turn in for the day. I would like to go ahead and plant this this seed. Um, although, I'm not sure if there's any place. I mean, I guess I could plant it out here. I really want to clear out this entire area before I plant any trees. Because it's a tree seed. And I'm just going to automatically assume that it's, um, it takes up an entire space. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and dig this and actually before we end the episode, see what it does. Um, it's a peach seedling. I'm going to go ahead and plant it here. Yeah. So it takes up an entire plot of land, which I guess that'd be all right, at least for now. But, um, until then, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.